Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. Today I have a big box that I cannot fit into the screen. It's a giant box. So I'm going to, um, huh, I'm not sure yet if I, how, how to unbox this. Maybe I'll just turn it on my side, turn it on its side, turn me on my side. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll turn the box, I guess, on its side. I have, I actually have cut it open. Well, I didn't. My husband did because he saw um, a big box and he knew it didn't look like a diamond painting box. So he went ahead and opened it up not knowing. And it says Hobby Lobby right in the corner. I'm like, um, hello, that was mine. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop it over on its side. And just pull some things out. This is exciting. First of all, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Hope you had an excellent weekend. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, first of all, we have a box. And we have... A couple other little goodies here. Um, we have um, paper. Pull that out. Okay, this is just too difficult, so I'm just gonna pull these out. I have four, count them, four of these boxes. So let me pull them all out of here. Sorry for getting up in your grill there. One more. <laughs> Can't get in the box. Uh, I think this is a packing slip. Yeah. Get rid of that. One more thing in the box. Which is this. And what is this? Something from Hobby Lobby. Okay, the box is empty. Set that in the floor. Let's see what this is. It says Hobby Lobby, super saving, super selection. Be inspired with over 70,000 products. Oh, live a creative life, HobbyLobby.com. On the other side, download our app. Get a 40% off coupon. Find a store, shop online, view the weekly ad. Available for iPhone or Android. Join our email list to receive our weekly ad coupons and DIY project ideas. Connect on social media. Okay. Thank you for that little sweet thing here. So, okay, guys. I got four of these boxes. I'm just going to show you one. They're all exactly the same thing. So, there's photo storage boxes. Okay. Okay. It's got a lid, it's a paper type box. It's got a little um, metal thing here that you can put a label in to tell you what's in the box, etc. $2.99 from Hobby Lobby. I was so aggravated. They were actually half off the week before I ordered and I had them in my cart and they were $1.49. And then I kept like waiting because I was trying to Think of some other things to put in the box in the cart, and I forgot about it. And then when I went back to order it, they were already back up to regular price. Price, Urgh! and I ordered four of them. But anyway, whatever. So yeah, I got four storage boxes. Um, and then I got uh, just a new little cheapy razor knife because I needed one that was retractable to keep away from the children. Um, some labels because we always need these little labels. And then I did get four other of the identical same kind of storage boxes. They had some different ones to choose from, but I was like, mm. and then I got a piece of foam core board. Just like a, I'm not sure what size it is. It's 11 by 14 inches. Okay. So, you're probably wondering, what are you doing with those? Or, let me move this over a little bit so I can 
sorry about the light shining there from the overhead light, these little orbs things. Let me cut into this box because I'm excited. I'll take these scissors for now because I haven't opened up my craft knife yet. Try not to scratch my box. And I didn't do it. I'm scared I'm gonna scratch, scratch it because it is just like cardboard or like, you know, thick cardboard, but I don't wanna put a big old ding in it. Okay, there we go. So anyway, if you're wondering why I got these, um, let me throw this in the box behind me because it's trash. So, um, these were supposed to, oh, here they are. I was going to say these were supposed to come with some little dividers, which they did. They were just here back there. I couldn't see them, but I don't know that I'll use these for anything. And your little silica gel thing. But I got these storage boxes for a reason. A couple of them for one reason, and then I figured I'd use the other two for something different. But if you watch um, Rebecca, Four Kids at 147 on YouTube, then you've probably seen her storage solution for her long-term storage for her drills, leftover drills where she uses the photo storage boxes and uses um, baggies to put her leftover drills in like three rows. Um, and she actually uses the white foam board as she cuts that to fit as a um, like, you know, divider. So anyway, I bought these for that purpose. I hope that they're the right size. If not, then I will. You, I can always find a use for these kind of boxes because they're super pretty. Um, they may not be the right size, but again, I'm gonna go back and double check. Um, I think that they are. If not, I can make it work. So, you know, I'll make it work for me. Um, I'm not gonna go into the specifics of the, like dimensions, that sh how she cuts things and all of that. I will link her um, video in the description box below because that was her idea and I'm not, you know, I think that she explains it way better than I ever could. I just wanted to use the system because I liked it a lot. Um, I like organization and I like pretty things and I had started and tried to put some of mine in to um, baseball cards inside of a binder and I was like, nah, I don't care for that. And so I figured I would just try this. So anyway, that's what this all is for. Um, I already had cardstock on hand and I already had um, baggies on hand. Uh, so, all I needed was the boxes and the board as a divider. So I'm gonna be working on that, getting that set up, getting things moved from my uh, little binder over to the boxes. And uh, the next time you see these boxes, I won't be explaining how to create the box because like I said before, I'm gonna leave Rebecca, four kids at 147's video link to do that in the description box below, or I may put her video up in the eye up here, one or the other, maybe both, um, so that you can get the dimensions and her instructions on how to do that. So the next time that you see the boxes um, will be just me um, kitting down projects and putting them into the storage boxes. So anyway, how pretty are these boxes though, right? flowers and the black and the white stripe or the black stripes on the white background. I just love it. It's so stinking pretty. And I love anything to do with organization. So I am for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, going to be getting this um, 
getting all my stuff, all my drills transferred over from uh, my binder to this. I love the idea behind it. So, um, and then I'll be able to label here, you know, just drills or whatever. Just put a card in there that says drills. Um, I plan on keeping my round and my square drills together, just in individual bags. And then also, um, I did get the extras um, because they're only $3 a piece and the boxes are pretty. You can always use nice storage, right? Um, still wish that I would have got them for a daggone dollar and a half because pff, I would have only spent $6 versus six, nine, twelve. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I'll have an extra one in case this one starts getting over full. I'll have another one to back up. Um, and then the other two that I have, um, because I've got two more just like it, I may um, just keep extra diamond painting supplies in, things that I don't get into very often. Because um, right now, currently, I've got like a bunch of trays um, and like gallon Ziploc bags and I've got um, pencils and gallon Ziploc bags and um, all that kind of stuff. So I'll find something really cool to do with these. So, but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, just a little fun Hobby Lobby haul unboxing for my storage, upcoming storage um, idea. Well, not my idea, but um, you know what I mean. Just, I'm really excited about it. I'm really, really excited about it. So, uh, the binder that I have right now that I um, was using with the baseball card sleeves, the only reason I even had the baseball card sleeves and the binder is because years ago, I used to be an extreme couponer. And so, I had a big, giant binder that was full of baseball card sleeves that I had purchased. And I would put um, binders, or I mean baseball card sleeves, full and full and full and full of tons and tons of coupons. And then I kind of fell out of the couponing stage and I had that binder um, with the baseball card sleeves kind of sitting there, you know, not being used. So I tried it with the drills and I just wasn't a fan. And I know, you know, like eventually... Like, already my 310, I had, like, more than one pocket full of 310s because I had so many extra 310s. And, like, I had seen many others on YouTube say that theirs, you know, started when you would flip the pages over. They would, like, slide out of the top and you would lose, you know, and it was just annoying. And so, yeah, I just thought this would be a cheap and a pretty um, way to organize. So, I'm excited. And I will keep you updated on the progress. Anyway, make sure to check out Rebecca, 4 Kids at 147, here on YouTube. Put it in the eye or down in the description box for all of her um, instructions on how to do that. Bye. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. <sighs> yeah. And if you're new here, um, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified the next time I upload another video. I appreciate it, guys. Now I can say bye. Have a great day. Bye.